after waking up on a beautiful day 22, I had to check to make sure I could actually hatch a chicken. Today was a negative. I got nothing. So, I ate some bread out of sadness. I then decided to do some of the farming whatnot, all the maintenance, doing some harvesting of the sweet berries. And I actually need to mention that sweet berries actually have two layers of gra of harvesting. You'll have, like, some berries, like, kind of spread out if you are on stage one, and then stage two, you actually get a full berry bush, which means you get, like, an average of three, I want to say, berries every time you take the berries off of the bush. So, always wait for that second layer of ready to harvest. But the pumpkins came in great. This is my favorite part of my farm. The pumpkins came in, and I am so happy, but I have to remember not to jump across and uh, trample my pumpkin stems. That's always a big risk, so never jump on your crops. After finishing that up and sorting my inventory, I decided it was the day to actually fix the outside of my house. I don't know why I decided to do this. I quite liked it, but I guess a change of scenery as soon as I leave the house is good, and I guess I was just trying to... I don't know. Make it look nice. Try to... Try to spruce it up a little. And no pun intended. I don't know why I did this. It's not mentioned in my notes that I started to do that. Hmm. I have no idea why I'm doing this. I guess I'm making it prettier or wider so I can, you know, have more space to come out of the house. Of course, it doesn't seem... Actually, yeah, I, I, I quite like it. Except this makes no sense here. Yeah, I'm just widening it up. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I, I'm at a loss for words at what I'm doing. Of course, these guys need to be replaced. Or not. Not nah, chief, not nah, chief, not nah, chief. Nah, fix that. Yeah, fix that. Fix that. Fix that. Oh, yes. Ugh. You dum dum silly pants. Fix it. Ugh. Now, I am putting these trapdoors here because you can trick mobs onto walking on top of the trapdoors, which are placed over magma blocks. So if they're following you, they think they can go through your trapdoors that are behind those ones, which are labeled as open, which they think they can walk through. That being said, they will get stuck because they don't realize, oh, jump over. Nah, they're stupid. And they burn to death on the magma blocks that are placed underneath. So it's a very efficient way of killing and keeping yourself safe from mobs. It was actually in Green's 1.14 uh, Starter House uh, video. I, I highly recommend you go check Green out for some build tricks, because he knows Minecraft blocks and block pallets and all that. But, as you can see, we are now harvesting sugarcane because we need the sugar. Or we need paper. I forget exactly why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. So, take that, society. However, after some serious consideration, I decided I needed to keep the house entrance the way it was, because it was built with the uh, uh, roof in mind, because the stair would have been just an eyesore to look at. It would have made it an eyesore to look at, because the stair would have gotten in the way, and I can't exactly replace the stair with something else. Because it just would not make sense. The stair under the... like, on the underside of the roof. So I, I shortened it by a block. But now it's time to go back into the mines. And looking at my, my notes, on day 20, Gerald died to a skeleton. And I did not see that in day 20. So I guess it happened when I cut out part because I saw Gerald get shot by a skeleton. So we don't have a Gerald anymore. Or we do. Okay, we have a, a Gerald. What? Hmm. 
maybe that was a previous Gerald. I, I I don't know. But we we do have a Gerald die in that wooden box somewhere. So maybe I maybe I got a new Gerald. But that spider killed itself on the on the pointed dripstone, which is just fantastic. And iron is always welcome. It was at this point I was fighting a zombie and he dropped a potato. And it wasn't even a poisonous potato. I was so happy I got a potato from that zombie. I ran back to Gerald to tell him the good news and then went to watch for more mobs to spawn. But I guess the mob cap had, had filled up. Or they were just out of my render distance. So I didn't get to see them spawn. And I am AFK for some reason, but I'm not sure why. So don't ask. I do not have any mention of going AFK in my notes. All I know is I got a potato from a zombie, and at the beginning of the day, I was smelting charcoal. I chopped down some trees and got the logs to turn to charcoal. So, overall, the day was a good day. Ah, more creepers. I was out of the spawning area. That's right. That was my problem. And that is a skeleton with a bow and shiny pants. Man, did I get a... Uh, I was trying to get a, a music disc. It did not work. And I'm getting shot. I think I should cut my losses and go back up. Which is exactly what I do. Now, remember, running away to fight another day is never a bad thing, especially in Minecraft. Because without super protected diamond armor, you ain't getting nothing. Except death. Going to fight a skeleton. So, always remember, kids. Running away is a viable strategy. However, if you can win, go for that. And I'm not sure why I didn't do this. I was thinking about this earlier. Like, why didn't I just start strip mining? Like, everyone strip mines. I guess I had a big cave system and, like, strip mining doesn't really apply anymore. Because, like, instead of strip mining to get ore, you do it for caves. But it is time to end the day.